Hello and welcome, it's KB here. In this video, I want to show you guys a free and open source program called Glaze WM. So first, as you know, starting from the Windows 11, we can't move Windows taskbar to the top left or right. It stays at the bottom. For some people, it's a big deal because some people actually liked using taskbar at the top or left right uh, we had a freedom until windows 10 but now starting from the windows 11 we don't have that freedom we can't move over taskbar but with the help of this app glaze wm we can get a top bar in windows 11. this is actually more than just a top bar this is a tiling window manager. If you're into Linux, I'm pretty sure you know about the window managers in Linux. There are many windows managers, like the only one that I know for now, Hyperland. Actually, some people prefer using window managers only in Linux. Uh, they don't use desktop environments because it's lightweight plus you can be more productive you just need to learn some keyboard shortcuts here and there actually you can make your own keyboard shortcuts for launching different programs for launching different spaces so the tiling window manager is also available for windows and it's actually pretty cool it gives you the top bar plus window manager like a Linux. It's not going to be as powerful and as customizable as Linux, but it is pretty good. Uh, this is the official GitHub page, Glaze WM. From here, you can learn more about it. I am actually waiting for the Glaze WM's version 3. I'm hoping for a big overhaul or you know some big changes with a lot of customization maybe some plugins here and there for a network speed monitor or something like that that would be really amazing now another really cool thing about this app is that it doesn't use much system resources it uses windows api to do almost everything like for positioning and the windows you know just like this so it doesn't have to use a lot of resources actually uh, let me actually show you how much resources it's using. It's a lightweight program. So I'm going to search for Glaze VM and you can see 0% CPU usage and only 81 megabytes of RAM. Now to get this, go to releases and download the program. There are actually 32 bit and 64 bit both available. Now just run it. It's a portable program. So save that file to wherever you want and just run it. And if you want to keep using it, make sure to not delete that. All right. Once you run this, this is what you're going to get. This is a default uh, look of this. Okay. You're going to get this top bar plus you're going to get this, uh, you know, a system tray, which you can hide and unhide just like in task manager at the bottom okay now the biggest thing is that you have to learn how to use this so first of all you need to know the keyboard shortcuts for doing different stuffs if you go to the official github page and scroll down until you see default key binding okay with alt pressed and alt shift pressed okay you kind of have to learn this i'll give you guys a demo actually so make sure to take a look at the uh, default keyboard shortcuts so once you do that okay i'm gonna open this let's say google chrome here okay so as you can see number two is highlighted which means i'm in number two desktop now if i press alt one i go to the number one okay and if i open anything here let's say a file explorer it's in number one now okay now if i go alt 2 i can switch in between these tabs and uh, whatever i have opened in these numbers will open it's kind of like the alt tab but works differently it's like a whole another uh, virtual desktop thingy okay uh, so yeah it's it's really cool okay so you can see one two alt one two and i'm switching in between them really fast now uh, let's say i open microsoft store okay now it's gonna automatically organize all the things as you you know open more and more uh, apps in here you can see now we have three apps you know opened in like this position which is really cool now let's say i want this microsoft uh, store to be in another tab let's say 
3. Now what I can do is Alt Shift 3. Now this app is on third tab. Now I can switch in between Alt 1, 2, 3. Uh, where is 3? I think something else is assigned to Alt 3. So what I'm going to do is manually. Yeah, I can also click on these numbers and go there manually. If the keyboard shortcut isn't working, you can actually, you know, uh, click the number itself. I want to do something else, actually. Let's try this with the Microsoft Edge. Maybe this time it will work. Alt Shift 3. Now it's in third space or third number. Now I'm going to Alt 1, 2, 3. No, for some reason, Three is not working, but you get the idea, okay? This is really cool. You can open as many apps you want and you can create as many uh, spaces or as many uh, these numbers as you want. It's it's really cool and really productive. <laughs> this, is, this thing is amazing. Now, let's talk about how to customize this. To customize this, there is no GUI. You have to actually customize it using the config file. So go to your C drive and then users uh, and your username. So inside your username, you'll see this folder, Glaze WM. Open this and here you'll see config file, okay? Now you can edit this with whatever editor you use. You can also edit this with the notepad. You don't have to use a uh, fancy, uh, you know, code editor or anything like that. But I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys may have better <laughs> you know text editor so here you can you know change all these settings including colors and everything so let's say for example the height i'm gonna change the height it's set to 30 uh, pixels if you think this is too huge or too small you can let's say i'm gonna make it 50 and uh, now it's gonna be big a uh, huge okay uh, now i obviously need to restart this glaze wm and it now i'm gonna have to open this again okay to take the effect and you can see it's giant now <laughs> i don't know about that i think 30 is pretty good maybe 25 no actually 30 is perfect at least for 1080p it's it's actually pretty good and we can also change the position it's set to top you can set it to bottom left right which is uh, again amazing you can also set the opacity of the top bar uh, okay so you can change the background color so this is actually pretty easy to uh, you know customize too yeah this is actually pretty easy yeah as long as you understand what's going on here okay so you can see position opacity background color foreground color font size of the font padding so these things one two three <laughs> are called workspaces okay you can change this to whatever you want by default it is set to alt one two three four five you know so you can set to whatever you want maybe the a b c d okay so that's that but i think default one two three four you know makes sense okay so you can change all the keyboard shortcuts and everything which is pretty cool this might take a while you know if you want to fully customize this but uh, out of the box it actually works pretty well resize focus window okay i can resize it using what p will increase u will decrease so let's check this out what's gonna happen alt u oh yeah <laughs> look at this i'm being professional now this is actually really cool okay <laughs> so here you can check out all the key bindings and you can also change these too i was trying to find the spaces in between these you know this space and this space okay so let me actually try to find this i don't know what it's called i can make it smaller probably i just need to find it oh i found it i found it i found it it's called inner gap i think i just had to type px because uh that's pixels uh so it's 20 so how much should i use uh 10 will be half of it maybe five Let let's go with the five yeah outer gap I don't know. I'm going to change both of it. Uh, yeah, between Windows and the screen edge. Okay. I'm going to go with the 5.5. Five. I don't know if it's going to work. 
but I'm gonna save it now I'm gonna have to restart it okay I shouldn't have done that but I can open another app no worries now look at the gaps now it's tiny gaps I can go even further like maybe three I think three would be even better border color I can also change that let me actually save this first right now the color is blue I can make it pink or 